And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Blanc. That's right, not just LeBlanc. We're going Lee Blanc because we're going to be pairing LeBlanc with Lee Sin. So we'll have Lee Sin and LeBlanc together. We're going to be uh, playing kind of an aggressive Noxus style deck that has a lot of five power things like Trifarian Hopeful, Trifarian Glory Seeker. Um, but then we can also grow some other, you know, obviously LeBlanc. We can grow other things to be five plus power also with the help of Might and with having Rune Weaver and Blade Squire, they will reforge um, some tokens like the like the plus two plus zero that we could put on a Rune Weaver. And those five plus power allies are going to be important because of Whisper Words. We want this to, to cost two mana, so we have a two mana draw two to go along with our lease in. And then, of course, we're also going to have Reckoning as well that we are going to want five plus power allies for. So we'll, we'll be able to use that plus two plus zero spell on Lee Sin or Might on Lee Sin. Also got Bloody Business in here. Again, need the five plus power allies. So yeah, we have an aggressive slanted um, Lee Sin deck. We're also going to be pairing LeBlanc with Flurry of Fists because LeBlanc does have is a five power quick attack. So Flurry of Fists will give it plus one plus zero and double attack. So make it six power double attack. And then if we use a Might on that, now we're talking about nine power double attack, basically killing our opponent with overwhelm, basically killing our opponent right there on the spot. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So here we go, Lee Blanc. We'll go play our five games, just playing them on over in normal to start with today. Okay, looks like we're playing against another Targon's Peak deck with Trundle Aurelian Soul. Seem to be a little popular right now, so that's going to be gone. These will be gone, and I guess Deny is still gone too, but because we're just going to need some units. But Deny countering like you know Avalanche and that kind of stuff could be pretty nice. Oh, that one one is great against me playing defense. So they discarded Targon's Peak, which should mean they have another Targon's Peak. That would be my. Um, expectation. Can I paint you? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I could see Black Rose Spy in here for Black Rose Spy Lee, plus Lee Sin. That would be pretty cool. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. I'm not so sure about the flocks in our deck because we have a lot of like our units strike for a lot of damage and so I'm, I'm not sure these flocks are really going to fit because usually they should be killing stuff in combat They discarded Trundle. So they'd rather have Trundle potentially. Master yourself, master your enemy. All right, so yeah, we got free lease in. I don't <laughs> it's it's hard to understand what these flocks are gonna do. I'm not sure what they can possibly do. Hello, Room Terra. Let's rock. Not sure. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boats. Aurelian Soul is large enough that it can, you know, like we can block Aurelian Soul and it, it won't die. So we can Ravenous Flock Aurelian Soul. I do love an audience. Oh, I good, aren't I? Conflict is all in the mind.
Alright, Targon speak pretty good. Pretty good. Kill that thing. Otherwise, the Reliant Soul levels up. I don't know if there's much difference between a leveled up Reliant Soul and the Targon Speak anyway. Flock this turn to help my Lee Sin. Alright, so you're at five. Mm. Maybe I did have to just do it last turn. That's six. If I go, maybe I should be going Reckoning. Like, I have Might again for another Lee Sin. There's nothing more powerful than Targon's Peak plus a Reliant Soul. They got, <laughs> they got those cards. They got it. Yeah, zero mana, Reliant Souls, and feel the rushes. You don't, don't really beat that. Now they'll pay attention. If only we would have had the zero mana deny instead of reckoning last turn to, to counter that. I'm gonna make a <laughs> that would have been nice. So all they had to do is attack with Trundle. And that would be game. Yeah, they're not their Nexus is damaged. Can we flock Nexus? Alright, they figured it out. All right, good game. I must train more. Lucian Azir. That's always a good aggro deck. Let's see what we got. Okay, I like Rune Weaver, Glory Seeker, LeBlanc. We may have to replace these Ravenous blocks. They just don't fit. I don't. I just don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what they can do. That's okay. My name will 
So I guess they have the plus three, plus one. Man, I sure hope not. Oh, uh, I guess they have the plus three, plus one. I was hoping that was going to scare them off from attacking. But Azir is just too good. I think I have to make the block. Because um, otherwise, if I don't make the block, it's still, like, it's just going to hold on. You know, like, they're going to be able to protect the Azir later with, like, the 6 health. I got to get that Azir down to a lower amount of health. They shouldn't block, but I hope they do. It's not a good block. They should take the three damage there, have the scout be able to attack with the Emperor's dies. Oh, our flock would have actually done something. We could have actually had a flock that did something. I'm definitely scared of more of those blinding assaults. That, that is kind of what it is of like, with, if they block like that, they're kind of saying, well, I got another blinding assault I'm going to be using anyway. So that's why I didn't just like slam down LeBlanc right away. They could have Fleet Feather Tracker and another one. Okay, cool. They don't. Alright, so this should be lethal unless they play Quicksand. Awesome. Flurry of Fist. No Quicksand. GG's. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. Nasus with Nocturne instead of Thresh. Nocturne Nasus. Give all their stuff uh, fearsome. I could see getting rid of the Glory Seeker. I'm not sure if I need like Glory Seeker is gonna be good against Nocturne. So maybe I keep it. I'm glad we haven't seen Caretaker. Blighted Caretaker would have, you know, would be terrible for us to see with all these three ones and five ones and five twos and stuff like that. So I think that they're playing Mask Mother. They're playing Dark Water Scourge. Just in general. They're setting up Spirit Fire. Well, it's a good thing I didn't play the Glory Seekers. Good call by me.
So I don't have any way to give quick attack right now unless unless I go like double flurry on something. I go like the first flurry for quick attack, the second flurry for double attack. Like seven, and then might. And blade fragment. I guess I could do all that. And kill my opponent in one shot. I'll take ten mana. Victory requires a sharp blade. Okay, just Doom Beast. They'd be able to stop me with an with a a vile feast, but we could kill them next turn if they don't have vile, you know, if they don't have any interaction. But considering they just played Spirit Fire, that's probably unlikely. Them not having any interaction, that is. I need just a moment. Oh, actually, wait, no, I'm one mana short, aren't I? Never mind, I'm one mana short. If I didn't play that other Glory Seeker, I could have. Hey, Michael! Thanks for that resub with Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that, Michael. Our first sub. Oh, not even a resub. Sorry, brand new Twitch Prime sub. My bad, my bad. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub, our first sub of the day. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Yeah, double, yeah, the double fury might would have been lethal, like whatever, you know, whatever the onlooker blocked. It's just so likely that they would have, um, you know, that they would have something to, to break that up, though, right? Like, it's, it's just, it's just so likely they have something to break that up. I was hoping they were going to play something else last turn, and then I was going to play Reckoning. Been an awkward hand. It's my time. I can't. I can't go for lethal right now. Like there's not. There's nothing I can do. They could do twenty damage, right? Like I have eight mana. If I had nine mana, maybe. Every doom beast. Yeah, I mean, they, they just have me. I mean, I, I could have... Two turns ago, I could have gone for lethal. Um, which, I guess I... You know, for obviously how this played out. I wish I did. Ravenous Lock doesn't do anything. But let, this past turn, I couldn't. But yeah, two turns ago. Because I would have put it all on a one health thing, though, right? Like, they're they're even playing, like, the Nightfall cards. Like, Unspeakable Horror, Vile Feast, any, anything. And you, they'd have all their mana. It's just so likely that... Um, that something would happen. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. All right, one and two. All right, this will be interesting. Playing against all in Fiora. It's been a while since we've seen at this deck. Hmm. It's probably going to be pretty decent against us. I'm not going to play the other Blade Squire.
One Blade Squire is kind of an easy kill for Fiora. Fiora is a 3-2 now, so it does it would trade like they have to use a spell. But I don't want to play two of them, so I'm just probably never playing this other Blade Squire. Really hoping they don't have another Frostbite card. Because if they have, like, another Sharp Sight or Elixir of Iron, that's okay. That should still be okay. So that, that is going to level up Fiora. But Fiora takes that one damage. Alright, so future Fioras are going to be leveled up. That's still great for me. Because, you know, like, like that gets rid of the 2-1 even that makes it easier for another Fiora to kill. So, yeah, that was a very good... Um... The best lives are beautiful. I'll play this Deep Meditation. Sorry, outcome. That was a very good outcome for us. Well, Flock may do something in this matchup, because, like, they're built around having their Fiora take damage and survive, so... Maybe it does something in this matchup. is on them to do something. They did kind of waste a single combat earlier, so that does mean that maybe it's likely they have another single combat. Okay, my kind of have to do that to give the lease in barrier. Ooh. No single combat. And now our double ravenous flock can shine. So it looks like we got this game now. Having all of these deep meditations, whisper words, definitely helped in this matchup. We drew, we drew well. Those are the cards that we want. All right, two and two. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself just a little bit. But I'm saying it's two and two. There there it is. I thank you, Dragon. Zoe Lux. That's a good deck. Played that in the seasonal tournament. 
Zoe Lux. All right, nice opening hand for us with the one, two, three. Oh, I hope that was mud. I'll show the hunters. I stand for Noxus. Grand Plaza is rough. That card's good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. So they get to kill LeBlanc with Solari Priestess. That's so nice. But we're going to attack back for lethal. Open attack. Hmm. I can only make it 18. Champion spell is the Sonic Wave. One. It's none of your bloody business. Getting life steal up in here. Plus two, plus zero. So no overwhelm. Ravenous flock doing its thing. Okay, that'll do. All right, gotta win. The good, aggressive Noxus stuff. Just kind of put, put too much pressure on him. All right. That two mana five two. Looking good. I think a big mistake they probably made that game was having, like they had their, um, the big mistake they made was blocking, right? Like the mountain goat blocking the, um, the LeBlanc and just dying and not doing anything. If they just take that five damage, then they still have their um, Solari Priestess challenge and kill my LeBlanc, but then they have the Mountain Goat be able to like trade with Hopefuls, um, which would have saved them a good amount of damage later on and you know kill the Hopeful. That was the big mistake they made was that block. But anyway, I think that there's something here for sure with LeBlanc and Lee Sin together. I think they both work really well with Flurry of Fist, Might, that kind of stuff. I didn't really care for the Reckoning or the, the Ravenous Flock, but I, so I think those could be better removal spells or like just better interaction, that kind of stuff. But besides that, I think there is just a lot of good stuff here. I think that maybe like another Deep Meditation um, and then cards like, you know, just like other kind of removal spells like Whirling Death um, or even uh, the Deal 2, Deal 1 card like Death's Hand things like that, Culling Strike, you know, like, maybe, like, those kind of cards or something. But I did like 
you know, maybe even like a lifesteal barrier or two, Spirit's Refuge. Um, so you can you can block a little better, even something like that. Um, but I did like a lot of what was going on. But yeah, I think like those those are the two cards I did like that I, th I think could be better spells. But I, I think those units worked really well. The Blade Squire, Rune Weaver, Glory Seeker, Hopeful. I think the this the units worked really well. And uh, yeah, you know, like Bloody Business was pretty good. And I yeah, I love Whisper Words and Deep Meditation together for sure. So I definitely think there's some good stuff here. I've been just pretty impressed with LeBlanc recently. Um, more than I was to begin with. Um, and yeah, Trifarian Hopeful look good. So yeah, so I think I think what I would do is I would get rid of those and play... Like, I would probably play, like, a Spirit's Refuge and a Whirling Death and maybe, like, two Death's Hands. Um, and then we got one more spot. Could be a Transfusion, could be a Nopify... Nopify is usually good in these kind of decks. Um, could be a third deep meditation, something like that. So either Nopa, probably either Nopify or deep meditation for the other card, and maybe instead of whirling death, maybe two spirits refuge. Depend on you know if you really want that life steal barrier. Pretty cool little deck here. I think that, I think I'll just kind of switch up those spells a little bit like that. All right, but there we go. That's Lee Blanc. So those y'all y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there, and of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck, and just putting Lee Blanc, or LeBlanc and Leeson together, that kind of combination. I, I liked it. I think it looked pretty good. All right, but that's it here for LeBlanc, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.